Okay guys, a lot of old games have slow or unskippable bits that you might not want to sit through for the millionth replay. Luckily, these handheld emulators usually have a fast forward feature. Today we'll be focusing on Arc OS for the R36S. The Game Boy and Game Boy Color cores for RetroArch thankfully have a built-in fast forward key. By default, this is R2. You can hold R2 while pressing other buttons and it doesn't interfere. This is great for mashing buttons in games like Pokemon. You also have your global RetroArch hotkeys. By default, fast forward is FN and fast forward toggle is FN and clicking the left joystick in. Unfortunately, while holding FN, you cannot mash the normal A, B, X and Y buttons. They are all mapped to different hotkeys. Even if you unbind the hotkeys so they do nothing, holding FN will not let you input anything into the currently played game. So for Game Boy and Game Boy Color, it's recommended you use R2 for temporary fast forwarding or toggle fast forward on and off using the mentioned hotkeys. On other RetroArch cores like Game Boy Advanced, or Super Nintendo, unfortunately there is no dedicated fast forward hotkey that you can select in the default input settings. Your only option is to use the hotkeys. As mentioned previously, if you're holding the default hotkey, which is function, you cannot press any of the other buttons. So B resets it. Manually enabling and disabling the default toggle using function and left joystick in can be quite cumbersome, especially for games like Pokemon. So I found the best solution is to remap the function key to act as the fast forward toggle. This way, all you have to do is press function once to toggle fast forward on, press it once again to toggle it off. You still can't press any other buttons while holding function so just make sure you're not pressing a or b while toggling fast forward to change the default hotkeys while in a game hold function and press x to bring up the retroarch menu press b once to go back to the main retroarch menu go down to settings go down to input go down to hotkeys and here you can see all of your hotkeys again you cannot map any of these shortcuts to a single button without holding the hotkey button first i find it best to first go down to fast forward hold and press y to unmap it then go up to fast forward toggle press a to change it and hold down the function key. This will now change our hotkey button and our fast forward button to the same physical function button on our R36S. To test it, you can simply press FN and X to close out of the settings. And now pressing function once should toggle the fast forward on and off. To save these settings, open up RetroArch menu again, press B to go back, B to go back again, B to go back once more, go down to configuration file and click save current configuration. This does change the global hotkey settings for all RetroArch cores. Another useful tip for the Game Boy Advanced is to change the default RetroArch core to GPSP, which does allow for much faster fast forwarding. To do that, on the main menu, just press start, go down to emulator settings, go down to Game Boy Advanced, under emulator, select RetroArch, under core, select GPSP, which is the bottom one. Simply press back to save. Now, if we open up our Game Boy Advance ROM, we can see our fast forward speed is way faster than it was before. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.